Hello friends, today I'm going to go on a street photography mission, a one hour POV session in the Vigelands Park in Norway, in Oslo, Norway. Because, uh, oh Jesus Christ, this. Yeah, because I've all I've been doing in the past couple of weeks has been sitting at the office editing. And uh, I haven't really tested my new camera, the X-T4, which is this one. I haven't tested it properly for street photography. I haven't been on any real sessions. Just a few quick sessions on making the videos about the X-T4. So now I'm going to explore the Vigelands Park here in Oslo and I'm taking you with me so I'm going to switch to GoPro mode I'm using the I'm using the hang on a second I'm using the, the 16 to 55 lens f 2.8 and uh, let's see what we can get I'm going to set the picture profile to Eterna Bleach Bypass, which is my favorite. Maybe even the classic Chrome, or whatever you call it. But let's uh, start. Let's start the, the timer. And set it to one hour. There we go. Yeah, now I can start. GoPro mode. Okay, I fucked up because I put it accidentally into hyperlapse mode but I'm still on one hour of street photography let's have a look at the pictures so far as I was saying I wanted to comment on this flippy screen or fully articulated screen as it is called by the nerds on the internet I just call it the flippy screen because it sounds cooler um, for photography, this is, I actually prefer the screen where you just flip it out like this or like this. But for everything else, I think this is the better option. But I've been testing the camera, this camera right here, Fujifilm X-T4, um, for everything. Time-lapse, video, um, photography, which is excellent to see if I can switch or swap or sell my full frame Panasonic and S1 and travel with less create more with uh, with less that's the idea of uh, of this series I've been making on my YouTube channel but here we are the monolith the monolith in Viglands Park in good old Norway so it's been a while since I since I've been out taking pictures. It feels good to be be out making uh, nice photos just of my hometown. That's what you can see on my Instagram these days. Since I'm not able to travel, at least not yet. Uh, boom boom pew pew. Yeah, just pictures photos from home and that's fine there's plenty of nice things to take photos of street photos street photography it's always a challenge anyway uh, and I like it I like being out on the street especially now on a day like this it was supposed to be heavy rain today but uh, luckily no heavy rain, I've got my umbrella with me, just in case. Uh, but I, I do like the... I do like... Reflective shots. So, we have some puddles here, because it was raining last night. And... Uh, I love the reflections. Oh, this wasn't very good. It wasn't very good at all. But... I can do this. Pew, pew, pew. And yeah, because of the hyperlapse mode I started with, you didn't get 
I didn't get to tell you this. Uh, this is a Peak Design strap, strapped to my wrist, which is fantastic for for when I'm out and about. I also use the, this when I'm vlogging. Um, I don't I don't like using this Gorilla Pod that seems to be so popular. I just use this one. Now I don't know where my plate for this tripod is, but uh, this is fantastic. Look, look how convenient this wrist is. This wrist strap. But this, with this I can do like so. So if I want to set up for a quick time lapse, for example, here, I can do that. Right. I'm not going to do that today because I need to find this thing, the plate. So I'm just going to take some photos and uh, since it was supposed to be raining, I didn't expect any people, very few people. So now these, these people, I would like them to go away, to disappear. But it is cool with the clouds, I can tell you that much. Always go a bit lower. And where is... Yeah, there we go. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, here we have a puddle of water. Will I get reflections here? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. And it's especially cool with clouds. So we have the clouds, we have the reflections. This is the best one so far. Pew pew. And how about this? If I go really close to this thing right here, this little... Yeah, that's cool. Nice. Good thinking, Daniel. Well, thank you, Daniel. That's me talking to myself. Uh, and uh, yeah, today I'm going to take my time. If I find a cool location, like here. Oh, sh God damn. That's, uh, that's machine gun mode, as I like to call it. This thing fires at 15, fr yeah, no, 15 frames per second. So it's really, really quick. Okay, 2.8, let's go. I'm just going to take my time today in my other one hour street photo videos. I haven't done them in a while, but I just go mental, go from this place to that place. I don't really take my time because I feel, feel like a little bit of pressure because I'm making a video, but today I'm just going to take my time and uh, I think this looks really cool. Hang on, hang on. Just be careful so I don't bust my camera. But this is the... Oh shit. Yeah. I don't want my camera to get wet. If we can just get a little bit lower to get the whole thing inside of my frame. Por favor. Yeah, and as always, I shoot with, uh, today I'm using the classic Chrome profile and I am showing you the JPEGs directly from camera. Fujifilm has awesome film simulations. I made a video about it that you can check out on my on my channel because I got so many questions about the Fuji film simulations when I did other videos on my previously owned cameras. Haha. <laughs> awesome. I think this will look cool when I get to edit these photos with the dramatic clouds in the background. I do like that. Bit of drama.
get a little bit closer to these statues here which is pretty cool oh Taking down the ISO to 400 F 5.6. It's really, really handy with um, Fuji cameras, the Fuji system that you can adjust your aperture right here. I like it. Some people don't like it. I do. Okay, let's get a close up. I think this is a cool photo with um, clouds kind of like around this sculpture. Nice, dramatic, yeah. Alright, let's check something else out. If I could get a bird flying somewhere around here, that would be cool. That's my that's my only wish right now, is to have a bird. Bird in the frame. Come on. This is still pretty cool though. I like it. I like it. And I just found another issue with this. When I hold like this, I can too easily adjust this ISO. But that's no problem. Come to think of it, I can just lock it like this. There, problem solved. Whoa, we were. Wa. Hallelujah. Okay, let's find some more puddles. Because I want. Oh, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice with the blue uh, sky and everything. Wonder what people might think. There's a crazy dude talking to himself. But that's that's what you that's the good thing about making videos. Exposing yourself on YouTube, you just have to deal with it. You have to not care. And that's a good thing, even though sometimes <laughs> it's a bit awkward. So that's um Yeah, I guess that's another reason I chose this park today. Whoa yeah! Nice! Because there aren't many people, so I don't have to. This is cool. Lovely clouds. Very nice. Yeah, no people. I can just walk around, talk to myself, talk to you guys on the interweb, on my YouTube. Thank you so much, by the way, for, for watching my video appreciate it and you can subscribe to my channel that makes me a very happy man Boo -boo. <sighs> okay right 
No, I don't. <laughs> Would be cool with some humans here now. So, come on humans. Walk into my frame. I dare you. Maybe not, maybe not today. But we still have reflective shots that I love. Where were we were? Boo! Ah. Okay. Where to next? Where to next? Maybe I can get some people shots in this in this lovely park uh, and i'm chewing a gum if you're wondering what that strange sound is that's me chewing a gum more of red this is a perfect reflection. Love it. I love it. Will I ever post this image anywhere? I don't know. of that okay now here I don't know if I told you this already or if if I was speaking to myself while doing this harp harp blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> the hyperlapse but I'm going to take my time today if I find a cool spot that's where I'm gonna hang out so this is my spot if you are into street photography and chances you are since you clicked on this video you know that street photography is all about finding a cool location there's a lot of waiting and this is really cool with the reflection so what I'm hoping for I want to see some people coming out of that gate or going into that gate that would be a cool shot yeah also let me adjust the white balance to automatic now we wait. Okay. Yeah. Street photography, all about patience. When you find a cool spot. Yeah, I think it's still a cool shot just with the reflection but there needs to be a human element here that would just make it even better come on humans okay what i can do is check out if anybody is likely to come through the gate Nope. That sucks. Maybe here. There's another gate. It's not as cool at all, but... Maybe. No.
you. Oh, come on. doing on time we have 20 more minutes of this one hour session I think I need to adjust this uh, my setup a little bit because if I do like this you can see what what the hell I'm doing but yeah just flowers boring a bit boring Here is a potential cold shot coming up right over there with that man walking in those steps. If he could just walk in the middle. Something I really do like is when you can find something really minimalistic, a bit artsy fartsy like this is, and boom. I don't think I don't I'm not sure if this is going to be a good video because I'm not sure if you can see what I, what I'm actually doing on the screen, but um we shall see. Maybe. Still cool to see, or maybe it's in interesting for you to see how other people do their street photography. Uh, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, maybe I'm wrong. But there you go. Maybe you just like to listen to my ramblings. Maybe you're that crazy. <sighs> okay, a few more shots of this, because this is something like when I find something cool like this, I'm gonna try and show you. Yeah, this is better. Uh, with the dramatic skies. I think this would be an, a really cool time lapse of a framed setup on a tripod here and make this into a cool time lapse. Maybe. Note to self make a time lapse of this uh, scene right here. Obviously with the dramatic clouds. 
here we have it. Let me show you a picture, an overview picture of the Vigelands Park, Oslo, Norway. If you ever want to visit, this is what it looks like. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> There's a uh Another photographer I know of, I follow him on Instagram, that is, I think he's taken a lot of photos from this park uh, with long exposures and, and yeah, he's just a fantastic photographer. So I want to experiment more in the future with long exposures, playing with light, all that good stuff. But please give me a person on top of those steps now. Por favor. Learning Spanish. So I say por favor. Which means please give me some people. Top of the steps. No? Come on. Huh. Okay, this is a this is a proper overview picture for you, my friends, my dear friends, that follows me on my street photography mission today in Oslo, Norway. Corona stuck still. Well, I don't think I'm stuck, but still got some some things to do. Some videos to make for my channel it has been to be perfectly honest with you really good to be back home and just relax after some very hectic years of travel two years 2018 2019 they just topped each other when I thought, oh, it's not going to be possible to have a more hectic year than 2018. I was wrong. Little did I know how wrong I was about that. But it's a good thing. I've got so much material, so much cool stuff coming on my... Boom! Yes! Did I get that bird? Did I get that bird in the middle? Almost. God damn it. Yeah, like I said, so much cool stuff coming on the channel. Uh, adventures, upcoming adventures, Eastern Europe, street photography videos like this, more edited street photography videos, absolutely 100%. Spending a mo lot more time editing those for sure. Let's, let's adjust the aperture to f8. Point zero. Okay, that's another question. What settings do you use? Uh, yeah. Hello. What do you think of the What do you think of the I just went down and so it was very cool with the skin. Yeah, the skin is very nice. So it became a pretty cool picture. What did you say? Oh, wow. Det blev dritt. Ja, det blev kul det gjorde. Med trappen alltså är schysst nice. Vad sa du? Med trappen. Ja, det blev det blev schysst bra. Har du lust att göra mig en tjänst? Ja, ja. Du ser toppen och kanten av trappa det överste trinnet där. Kan du cykla bara sakta förbi? Det hade varit kul att få få dig bilden. Vad det är så att det nog skönt. Ja, found a guy that would Love to help me out.
Boom, 15 frames per second, ladies and gentlemen. Lite vanskelig å se det, men ja, da fikk jeg det, det menneskelige elementet, jeg tenkte. Det er alt livet, da. Ja, supert. Takk, takk skal du ha, mann. Ja, ha det godt, da. All right. That's a very nice person. Smoking his joint. Enjoying himself. Let's try a few more. Well. I think this is perfect for for the to try the uh, Turner bleach bypass. Let's give it a go. If you can see at all, but yeah, you'll you'll see on the picture in just a second. Don't you worry. Going to get it dead center. That's uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. One more step up and in the middle, like this. Fantastic. And the shadow of the lens is what you can see in the foreground here. Right. But this is this is what I think is really cool. When I find a spot I like this. I can just spend a lot of time. <sighs> To, to get that photo, to get that cool photo. And we are, yeah, eight minutes left. And then I will end this video from the Vigland Park in Norway, Oslo, Norway. So now you have an idea of what it's, it's like here. This is more silhouetted because of a very harsh light, because the sun just arrived, appeared. The sun has appeared, which is lovely. It was supposed to be raining heavily today, but doesn't look like it, to be fair. Um, should I even bother to, well, we have some reflections here, no, not going to work, you can see that immediately, so I don't think I'm going to do any more photos now, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, up there is Holman Colm, that's the posh part of Oslo. That's where all the rich kids live. Um, but that's it. That's it for now. Can you be... One more shot. of the rich people's home. Yeah. Bit of foreground. Boom, that's a ski jump up there. Yeah. Now you know. But whoa. That's it boys and girls. Thank you so much for watching my video to to go 
together with me on this street photography adventure in the Vigelands Park. As always, please subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate Subscribe, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> I appreciate it. Appreciate your support. And, and, that's it for me today. See you in the next video. Bye bye.